field of deaf education, people who teach deaf people, they're really a special group of educators. You know, there's a different variety, a different type of student. And it's hard to share with hearing classes our different philosophy on education and pedagogy. Every two to four years we have a conference where people come and share their experiences. What works in the classroom? We all have to work together to improve deaf education. Every year in this country about 5,000 deaf and hard of hearing kids are being identified through the screening process. We help them when they arrive here, yes, but more important, you who are teaching elementary, high school, you really do the work that prepares them for success. So thank you for that. The world is changing. There was never a better time in history for a person to be deaf. Tonight I can talk with anyone in the world on Skype, video, or whatever. Wow. We have amazing opportunities in the future. We have to take advantage of more of those opportunities. A little something. The activation barrier. The catalyst. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, so now there's a magic component. This is my magic, this is my magic reaction, and I'm going to say that the, the magic ingredient to getting over this activation barrier is education. A century ago, Albert Einstein proposed a theory predicting the distortions in the fabric of space-time called gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by the rapid motion of huge Thank you.